Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can add intake sounds to uh, your exported cars. Now this is pretty simple. Um, so you just you just need a, a couple of steps. So first of all, you need to open your bmng uh, folder. First of all, you need to open your bmng folder. Yeah. Okay. Now you want to go into mods and you want to find whatever is in here. And then just get a car you want to edit. So let's see. Okay, got this. Now you want to go into your vehicles for path. So just like here. Then you want to open camzo engine.jb. And then you just scroll down, skip all of these. And then you see sound config here. And you see uh, up here sound config here. So what you have to do. You're gonna to want to copy and paste this. Let me just do this so it looks a bit nicer. Oh, come on. You want to type in here sound config exhaust and exhaust here as well. Now you scroll down and then you select this. And then you want to copy this and make sure you don't overwrite this because otherwise we'll break it. So put a couple of spaces here. And then you have a new line. And then you want to name this to sound config exhaust as well. So you have sound config here. Start and close brackets, start and close brackets. And now you want to get rid of this sample name here. Now what we're going to do here is you're going to want to go to your computer folder and you are going to want to go to wherever your steam library is so you just want to go here where is it steam steam apps bmg then you're going to go open game engine you're going to open art and then sound and then blend. So you see game engine dot zip art sound blends, and this whole list are default sounds that you can use. Now these actually work pretty well with automation sounds, most of them, because uh, a lot of them are actually sounds that come from the same company that uh, automation gets sounds from, Sonary. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Like this engine V sixteen is identical to the automation one. This, well, it's not actually in the counts pretty different, but this is basically the sound that the bass sound automation had. Same for the V10, same, uh, actually, okay, not for the flat plane, that's a different story. Cross plane as well, V6, same, in 9.5, and 9.4, things like that. Anyway, so you want to find out, so you want to uh, get like the engine that your car has. So you want to make sure you get a sound that has the the same engine configuration. So my uh, engine in this case is a box of four. So I'm just gonna have to look for something that says box of four and then engine. So uh, I can get this one or I can get this one. Uh, I guess I can, oh. I guess I can get this one a try. So just copy this and then paste it in there. Uh, do note you can actually use uh, other engines that have like the same cylinder count or that are like a multiple of that count so I can do like an inline 4 if I wanted or uh, a V8 even. V8 flat plane I think. You have to, you have to, you just have to experiment but something like a V10 that's a uh, Unless you want to have a very funky sounding engine, I would not recommend that. Same goes for V12. V16? That would work again. That's a multiple of four. Or for example, you have like a, a, a Lin line 6 engine. You could like, I don't know, put a, a Boxer 6 uh, sound to it. Or like an inline 3 sound. You just, you just got to experiment. But yeah. I'm going to use the Boxer 4. And I saved it, so I'm going to close it. I'm gonna close this. Yep. And then I'm gonna open Beam and G. And then just load your car. And there's the sound. You can already hear it.
So yeah, that sounds pretty cool, I would say. So uh, let's actually experiment with a different uh, engine sound. Okay, I got Alucana. And then again, we go to Camto Engine. We scroll down, copy this. Oh, exhaust. Scroll down, copy paste this. Exhaust. And now we open this again, and we look for a sound. And this time I'm actually going to use the inline three sounds, just to show you that you can make engines with the slightly different configurations sound good together. So put that in there, close it, yes, and open BMG again. Okay, now let's have a listen to this one. short tutorial i hope you enjoyed and that this helped you and i'll see you next time bye